taco night fiesta in my kitchen and wherever you are i hope you're ready for some tacos because that's what we're making today hi i'm beth from past the plants and i am making for you today vegan taco meat but it is not made of anything that had to be processed in order to get it to you you don't have to buy it in a package you can actually make it exclusively from fruit, vegetables and either seeds or nuts so i'm going to show you how we do that using my vegetable meat substitute and then how we season it up to taste just like the taco meat that you had as a kid and then we're going to whip up a quick taco for our taco night and we'll have a fiesta of a time today it's going to be great all right so the first thing that we need obviously is the meat and we made that using my vegetable meat substitute recipe but what it is is it's made from cauliflower walnuts no no it can have walnuts in it but in this batch i used pepitas or raw pumpkin seeds sun-dried tomatoes mushrooms onion garlic and carrots and they're all ground together and cooked and this is like the base of this recipe um, but we're going to use this as our base here in the pan and season it up with traditional taco meat seasonings so the pan's already hot so we've got that base right there and we're going to add make our taco seasoning mix first so this is enough for several batches but we're just going to use a couple tablespoons of it once we make it so this is a tablespoon of salt three tablespoons of chili powder and then one tablespoon of ground cumin 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 and then one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of onion powder one and a half teaspoons of paprika you can use smoked paprika if you want I just have the regular and then one and a half teaspoons of oregano and what I usually do is like kind of rub it between my fingers as I put it in it kind of wakes it up a little bit okay and then put your lid on here shake 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 okay and then you can use about two tablespoons per two cups of this ground meat or vegetable meat substitute so I've got my half tablespoon measure here, so we'll do four of those. Being a little uh, generous here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here, and that's gonna get the, the ground meat, or the vegetable meat kind of moistened along with the spices and give the spices somewhere to go. So we're just gonna stir this to get all of these spices incorporated. And in very short order, it's going to look very similar to ground beef taco meat. So this is so, it's not only packed with plants, but there's no oil in it or anything. So it is just so good for you. Okay, I don't know about you, but I think it's time to eat a taco. So I have, when I was growing up, I didn't have corn tortillas for tacos. Although sometimes we had the little hard shells, but I just thought these little street taco shells were so cute. But my very favorite was the just traditional soft taco. So I'll put a couple of these together do you can do some refried beans too I just this has so much protein in it already I just I'm going with the taco meat to really make that shine and then we just have the classic toppings some ice, iceberg lettuce let's see maybe some avocado is this not the most beautiful avocado I didn't even want to cut it up because it was just so beautiful I guess we should get this avocado out <laughs> dump it right there into the bowl and you've got perfect little avocado cubes. Okay, and then a few little pieces of tomato, a couple of olives, and then um, use a spoon, I guess. Um, this is my savory cashew cream. You've maybe seen this video already, and you know I use it in all kinds of things. For me, it is like the sour cream and the cheese all mixed together because it's got both of those flavor components going on. I'm just gonna drizzle some of this over. And then obviously you can do hot sauce or jalapeno or whatever else. So then I, I used to always kind of roll it up almost like a burrito. And then we'll just dive on in. Mmm, this is so good. Okay, so that's it. The vegan taco meat, all your fixings, add your seasonings, you are good to go. I hope you'll try this recipe. Leave me a comment in down below if you have any questions or if you've made it and you wanna let me know how it went, I'd love to hear. 
Don't forget to watch our other videos and like and subscribe to the channel so you can always know when a new awesome plant-based recipe has landed on this channel. Bye guys, have a great day.